In this video, I'm going to explain how to palpate rotator cuff muscles. You know, everybody loves uh, rotator cuff, yet many people uh, struggle with palpating rotator cuff. First thing first, this blue one is teres minor, this black one is infraspinatus, this red one, supraspinatus, from front to you, this beige tape is subscapularis. So on this person, scapula is like this way. I'm going to start with infraspinatus, teres minor, minor, and supraspinatus. I will start it from these muscles. So this is this person's scapula. So this is inferior angle, medial border, lateral border. So Infraspinatus should be around here because infraspinatus covers whole surface of scapula. So I put fingers anywhere here. So this should be infraspinatus. What is function of infraspinatus? It is external rotation. I ask this person to do external rotation. Okay. Now I feel the contraction here. So this is infraspinatus. Infraspinatus is easy now again this is uh, inferior angle lateral border remember teres minor originates from lateral border however there is another muscle here which is teres major how do i differentiate let's say this is teres major difference in between teres minor and major is function teres major is internal rotation. Teres minor is external rotation. Let's say I am on teres major and ask this person to do internal rotation. I feel contraction. I go a little bit superior than external rotation. Good, I feel contraction here. So I am on teres minor. Then important landmark is this one spine of scapula. You have to find spine of scapula to palpate supraspinatus. So once you can find uh, spine of scapula, you can go touch supraspinatus. So this is her spine of scapula. It was deep to uh, spine of scapula, right? But there is the big muscle here, which is trapezius. I need to relax trapezius. How do I do it? Elevate shoulder a little bit, then I can go deep inside the trapezius, which is supraspinatus. The function of supraspinatus is abduction. Especially, it is important for initiation of abduction. My fingers are on supraspinatus. So I feel it. Don't feel the contraction of trapezius. You might feel contraction of trapezius, but you feel contraction deep to trapezius. This is supraspinatus. So subscapularis. Subscapularis on anterior part of scapula. But first thing first, I need to find big muscle here, which is latissimus dorsi. Latissimus dorsi is right here. Imagine latissimus dorsi is right here. I go anterior to latissimus dorsi. Then I end up lateral border of uh, scapula. Then I go even deeper. Now I can touch subscapularis. Then I ask person to do internal rotation because function of subscapularis is internal rotation. So this is latissimus dorsi. I go on the latissimus dorsi, I go deep, 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 I hit lateral border of scapula, I go even deeper, I think my fingertips are on the edge of subscapularis. What was function of subscapularis? Internal rotation. Now I feel contraction on tips of my fingers. If you feel uh, contractions here, that's latissimus dorsi. If you feel contraction on the tips of fingers, that's gonna be a subscapularis. 
that's it. So that was subscapular radius. In this video, I explained four muscles and how to palpate, which is rotator cuff. So I hope this video helps your uh, palpation or studying of rotator cuff. So if you liked today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe.